here is a Philco radio from around 1959 that was sent to me by a YouTube viewer. I'd like to thank him a lot for sending this to me. And the problem with it was that it just produced a, a noise when turned on, just a hum. It uh, didn't receive any stations. It's had all new capacitors put in it. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and turn it on here. The problem I first suspected was a bad oscillator tube. So I put a, a new one in there, a new converter tube. That didn't seem to change it. But I'll demonstrate the symptoms here. I'm going to turn on the signal generator to 455 kilohertz. And let's make sure I'm on the right band here. Now I can hear it over on this radio I'm using as a test. Make sure it's hooked up here. Okay, I need to put it on. Put it on that. And it is passing the 455 kilohertz signal through it, so the IF circuits are working okay. When this happens, usually it means that the oscillator circuits aren't uh, working. So we'll need to take the circuit board out to try and see what's going on with it. It wasn't the tube. I put a new tube in it. So let's now remove the circuit board. Another test I want to do before I turn it off is I'm going to turn on, turn on a known good AM radio. And I'm going to turn the variable capacitor. If this radio is working right, it should radiate an oscillator signal that'll be picked up by the other radio. But it's not really doing anything. So we know we've got some kind of a problem. Next we'll need to take off the circuit board. I figured out now what the problem is with the Philco radio. It was a, a bad oscillator coil. The part of the winding that connects to the uh, variable capacitor here and here showed continuity, but the part that's in the grid circuit of the oscillator tube here and here did not. Now I might be able to fix this if I can kind of figure out where the winding break is, but I think to repair this radio, I'll just go ahead and substitute in another oscillator coil. This is one that came from a Junk Curtis Mathis chassis. And the circuit is a little bit different than the original Philco circuit, so I just sort of had to copy what was in the in the Curtis Mathis as far as the hookup to the 12BE6 tube. I just looked at it and copied it as far as how it was hooked up. And I just had to change where one of the resistors uh, connects here. And it also had some capacitors and resistors that are part of that circuit. So I wired it up, and it does seem to to uh, work. So I've got everything hooked up with some alligator clip leads. So I'll now give a demonstration. Let me get it plugged in here. And then, uh, then what I'll do is I'll just make a permanent hookup up on top of the chassis. But I wanted to hook it up temporarily on the bottom here just to make sure it's more it on a theoretical level. Um, theoretically, uh, if it, would it be possible for... Um, a Walker, by a fiscal seriousness contrasting with Obama's lack thereof, and... Obama, by inciting defenders of the... Three things clear. First, the Democratic Party is the party of government, not only because of its extravagant sense of government's competence and proper scope, but also... There's a pleasant guy. We didn't agree on much politically, but Bobby Rush was able to defeat Obama. That was his one political miscalculation. Make the mass accessible to deaf people, and um, and it, permission has been given to do that. Uh, so, in fact, there are priests who, uh, who 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 have actually done and do mass just in American Sign Language without a spoken. So now I'll just uh, 
mount this uh, new oscillator coil up on top of the chassis and it'll be, uh, be uh, ready to put everything back together. I now have the new oscillator coil put in. The only problem with it is, is the inductance I think is slightly different. I think the variable capacitor on the Curtis Mathis uh, was bigger, had more capacitance. So this doesn't quite cover the entire broadcast range. I optimized it for between 550 and 1450 because I could tune it so that you could either go up to 1600 and not get 550 or get 550 and not go much past 14, 1450 or so. So I set it so that it would get, this, state, this country station here is 1410. So maybe I can figure out how to repair this. I'll make sure to put it to save it in case I can figure that out. This this is actually an air core coil and the one from the Curtis Mathis was iron core. So I adjusted the core and the trimmer capacitor for the oscillator. So now we'll put the back on I can demonstrate it from the front. This. The other news item that uh, happened in the previous hour that just now being commented on. And this was warmed up before I turned it on. It, it does need to warm up. The regime, uh, Obama has told Eric Holder to stop defending the Defense of Marriage Act. Obama's decided that. Uh, Obama has told Eric Holder to stop defending the Defense of Marriage Act. It's, it's to me like a like a, a municipality who has laws on the books against uh, speeding in a school zone, and the mayor just automatically says, "You know what? I don't like that law. I don't think we really need that law. Let's let's just not. We're just not going to defend that law. We're not going to go to the city council." Volunteer plants provide the perfect habitat for the boll weevil, especially if the unwanted plant grows undetected in a corn or sorghum field. AgriLife cotton expert Dr. Galen Morgan says volunteer cotton was a big problem as the last drought ended, and he predicts the same could be true for this spring. Yep. You can't do this. No, I can't. You can't do this. This is low key, and this is his song. Low key. That basically is take the bastards down. And it's coming from people all around. He loses his temper. Loses his temper. So, what do I got to listen to some Pope who loses his temper for? No. One of the most obnoxious, out of control human beings you ever did want to see because somehow, some way, he just ain't imbibing this. There's the 1959 Philco radio.